results. That's right. Investigative reporter Rob Lowe with why an Inglewood pharmaceutical company believes that its drug shows some real promise against COVID-19. Rob. Error State was a tiny study involving just 10 patients, but these patients were among the sickest of the sick. And the outcomes for those who took Ampion based on their oxygen levels, lung capacity, and basic lab results were dramatically better. Penrose St. Francis Hospital in Colorado Springs is where the study took place this summer, focusing on patients critically ill with COVID-19. Five patients received the regular standard of care, which currently includes drugs like remdesivir and convalescent plasma. The other five patients were given an anti-inflammation drug called Ampion, created in Inglewood, Colorado, by Dr. David Barr Orr. When you did that calculation for the Ampion patients versus the patients who were on the standard of care, uh, you saw that the Ampion patients did better. The Ampion patients all recovered and went home, but in the other group, one patient died and another remains hospitalized. Ampion did better than them without remdesivir, uh, so I think. Uh, if anything, we are comparable to remdesivir. We had no reason to expect that it would that it would turn out that well. Um, the fact that uh, it did is really, really encouraging. Dr. Mike Roshan is the chief of the medical staff at Penrose St. Francis and says his hospital is eager to begin a phase two study that administers the drug not just through an IV, but directly into the lungs with an inhaler known as a nebulizer. Get the patients to breathe it in and get the drug right to the tissue that's being harmed the most. That just makes sense. Dr. Roshan calls COVID-19 an assassin of the lungs. Having a way to treat lung inflammation while the world waits for a vaccine, he says, is critical. There's a lot of bacterial problems that we have. We don't have a vaccine for the bacterial problem, but we have really effective antibiotics that stop, that stop the infection. We could could also address inflammation in the lungs, and he believes more studies will prove him right. The moment we get an approval, uh, we can scale it up uh, significantly, very rapidly, and uh, have it uh, available to the public. Ampio Pharmaceuticals hopes to get word from the FDA in the next week to start two more studies with a lot more patients now using hospitals nationwide.